Good morning, Libra. This is going to be your video. I have been hitting it hard with the videos lately, and I had to take a couple days off to kind of recharge my battery, so um, I'm back. And I'm going to go ahead and take these cards using my Alice in Wonderland um, tarot deck. This is one of my favorite decks. Well, you know, it's kind of funny because... <clears throat> Alice in Wonderland is kind of the theme of my Twin Flame journey. You know, every Twin Flame journey kind of has a theme. And this has been mine. I have been Alice, so I got this deck, um, which I thought this would be really nice, you know, to deliver some real concise messages. Hope everybody's doing well. I took kind of a nasty fall. Um, a week ago and uh, sprained my ankle and skinned my knee up real bad and I still don't even know how I did it. People were like, were you drinking? I said, no. They were like, was it raining? No. I just fell. It was kind of crazy, but I did a real number on myself and, um, you know, my ankle's still real sore. Um, I'm still kind of hobbling around. But I'm not really a doctor person. I took care of it myself. Give me an energy oracle card for uh, Libra. Uh, give me um, a vampire oracle card for Libra, my Libra friends. It's screaming at me. Romance Angel card. Um, my Fairy Forest Oracle cards. fortune telling deck I me mean, a card for Libra card for Libra which is Oracle card this one's screaming at me wow all right so the first card that we have is the king of wands I love this deck and basically um, there are a lot of things going on that you can't see right now um, and that is where faith comes in uh, you're being called to have more faith um, and a lot of times people, people in our lives create illusions. We create illusions. Um, when I first started on the spiritual journey, um, everyone kept saying, you know, see through the illusions, see through the illusions. And I didn't really understand what that meant. Um, a perfect example of social media. Look at how um, people create whole illusions on Facebook. You know, especially with like romance with couples, you know, like, you know, People are, you know, in your face talking about how happy you, they are, whatnot, and they're really not. Um, but it's more than that. It's more like um, the unseen. Stop focusing so much on um, things that you're seeing because we create illusions in our mind too of how we see them. I mean, we see um, we see something, and automatically, you know, we start adding details to it. You know, we start thinking and thinking, and then um, before you know it, um, that's really what um, we believe to be true now about that situation that we've seen. And that becomes our physical reality. Um, so be very careful um, of the stories that you're creating um, from things that you're seeing, because there's more going on than what meets the eye. And we have the journey card. You know, you could be getting ready to take a vacation. A lot of people are taking vacations right now. Um, 
but I really feel like this is a spiritual journey. I really feel like, um, like I said, this is, I have a mouse. He's making all kinds of noise. <laughs> and, um, no, that's my neighbor. I was like, well, I know that mouse isn't making that much noise. Um, this is kind of a journey into the unknown. Um, and the magic is where, um, the unknown is where the magic is. A lot of times we want to know everything. And so that's kind of this energy I'm picking up on. You know, maybe, um, you know, you're trying to figure something out. And like I said, be careful of that. Because whatever it is that you believe, or you, or the, even the feelings that you have behind those beliefs, becomes your reality. Um, this is a, like I said, this is a journey into the unknown, and um, your guidance is right now is the less you know, the better, um, because things are being worked out right now um, that you cannot see, and that is where the magic is. Um, you're really being guided to um, kind of focus more on yourself. Um, stop focusing on anything outside of yourself right now because that is the magical energy and that is really how we attract things to us. Um, just be, you know, doing your own thing, um, happy, you know, happy with yourself. Um, and then, boom, before you know it, um, everything that, you know, you desire comes to you because that is a magical energy. We have the Page of Wands, and this is that curiosity, um, that kind of that curious energy that I was picking up on, um, and a certain element of control around it. You cannot magnetize in your soul's, your heart's desire until you can learn to live with or without it. Um, and focusing on it too much um, will push it away. Um, and so I'm really feeling like this is a romantic partner that you are very interested in, um, that, you know, maybe you've even, you know, kind of been watching them, trying to figure out what they're doing. You know, maybe they're even with someone else right now. Um, this happens in preparation. You know, because so many times we're not with the person we want to be with, one, because we're not ready, because they're not ready. But not just that, but when you send out the signal into the universe um, that there's something that you want, you actually push it further away um, because the universe matches vibrations. And to acknowledge that you do not have something you will keep not having it. Um, the proper way to pray, the proper way to really set an intention um, is to be grateful for it, to start being thankful for it even if you cannot see it. Um, because this person, this is a mutual connection. This person does feel the same way about you. Um, but your energy is kind of pushing them away right now. Um, because whenever we desire something so badly, um, it really takes the focus off of us and that energy kind of pushes them away and that's the um, energy I'm picking up on now. We have madness, ecstatic ritual, and energy release. So this is kind of what I'm picking up on this really feeling um, very strongly that you desire this person, that you want to be with them. Um, and a lot of times people think that, you know, it, it, there's a lot of confusion about the law of attraction. Um, a lot of people feel like, you know, if I just focus on this person, just focus on this person. Um, but it's, it's kind of driving you, not, I'm not going to say mad, but driving you a little crazy, you know, maybe keeping you up at night um, with the obsessive thoughts, the obsessive thinking. Um, and so, like I said, you're being asked to kind of pull your energy right back right now because you have to realize that, you know, you are the prize. Let whatever it is that is meant to be for you to come to you and don't chase it. Don't worry about it um, and don't obsess about it. Um, you know, the, someone might be doing, you know, love magic rituals, candles. I know I used to do that, too. Um, but understand, the more you focus on the thing that you do not want, the more you're not going to have it. 
um, because this is a strong signal that we send out. And I'm not taking away from magic. But when other people have free will, um, you want them to desire you and to want you and be attracted to you because they want to. So release that control right now. Um, we have the Two of Cups. So you already have what it is that you desire. You just have to get there energetically. And how you get there energetically is through gratitude. Um, make yourself a gratitude journal. Start writing in it daily. Find things every day to be grateful for. You know, and thank um, your higher power, um, source energy, the divine, you know, the great spirit. Start thanking him or her, whatever, you know, that higher power is, however you picture it um, now for um, the things that you cannot see, um, these illusions that are being created right now um, that you haven't been able to kind of see through. Um, really start being grateful because like I said, this is a mutual connection. Um, and this is a very spiritual connection. This is very strong. Um, and it's not going anywhere. And um, so stop worrying about it so much. We have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. We cannot create anything unless we're present. Um, really be focused. Any task that you have at hand, you know, so many times, you know, we're cooking, we're driving, we're doing things, we're thinking about other things. Try to really be focused on whatever it is that you're doing at any given moment. Now, you can set the intention. Um, and it's really not so much setting the intention, but you have to believe. Now, if you believe that, you know, you're not good enough for this person, um, somehow you have to win them, you have to earn their love, um, that's what you're going to get. So start telling yourself now, I am the prize, and you know what, this person wants me, and they're going to come to me. I'm going to attract them. But in the meantime, I'm going to do my own thing. You know, hell, I might even go out on a few dates. I've got hobbies. I've got interests. I've got friends. I'm not going to focus on it because you know what? I know what I know to be true. Because when you know something, really truly know something, that is how you manifest things into your current reality is through knowing. Nine of Pentacles. Really try to spend more time out in nature. You know, we're in this Mercury retrograde now, and these energies are very, very powerful. Um, so make sure that you ground yourself. Um, spend more time um, outdoors. Um, you know, maybe, you know, you like to garden. Um, definitely do that. Um, I know I have house plants that make me very happy. Sometimes it's the small things in life that make us happy. You know, it's very interesting she's standing on this chessboard. I was just looking at that because when I first started spiritually awakening, I literally had timelines described to me as a chessboard. Um, and I've talked about this before and see this chessboard again. Um, time doesn't exist. Um, the whole construct of time does not exist. It's only energy. And I had someone describe to me, like, imagine a chessboard. And each one of these squares is a different timeline that you can actually align to with your energy. Each one of these, every one of them, um, energetically, you know, and um, so with your vibe and um, with your, um, your energy, you can align to these different, different timelines. <clears throat> Elf struck, enchanted, beguiled, impelled. This is really um, the energy that um, your spirit guides, your ancestors, your higher selves want you to get into. This attractive energy of just being very magical and being very empowered and really knowing your worth and knowing that you have this co-creative ability um, that each and every one of us have as each and every one of us are a part of God. We're created um, in God's image, not because we look like him, but because we have 
is power to create whatever we want. And once you know that and you really step into that power, you can take your power back from people. Um, there is no healing involved. It just is just a matter of taking your power back and recognizing and realizing that everything that's happened in your life up until now, you as a soul, as a part of God, a part of the universe, chose to experience this so that um, when you started to awaken and remember who you are, these are not just concepts anymore. You have experienced them. And it's that experience that we need. But this energy here, and I'll show you closer, this is where they want you to be. This elf strut, just um, very magical, very power, um, powerful, you know, gods and goddesses that you are. Um, and not worrying about what someone, someone else is doing, saying, thinking, or feeling. Only focus on yourself right now. Pull that energy back because that is how you attract more money. This is how you attract um, your heart's desire. Um, we have Queen of Pentacles. This is a very um, industrious card. Um, you know, so I, I'm picking up on the fact that, you know, you've been working very hard um, and you have been manifesting more and more things in your life. Um, but make sure that you realize too that we don't wanna chase money or material gain either. Once again, you want to attract, not chase. So make sure that you're not overworking. Um, make sure that you are taking time to rest and really take time to recharge your battery and to take care of yourself because you cannot manifest or create anything um, without energy. Um, we have the poverty card. This is a fear of poverty. Fear of poverty is very real. Um, and when you get into this poverty mindset, guess what? That's what you're going to experience. So if you're in this poverty mindset of being scared that there's not enough or, you know, overworking, working too much, kind of a workaholic energy um, and, and chasing money for fear of not having enough, once again, it's the same thing with love. You're acknowledging that you don't have. You're coming from um, the standpoint of lack and scarcity. And guess what? That's the vibe you're going to be in. The universe is um, an abundant place. There, There is plenty. I know it doesn't look like it because that is an illusion that you need to see through. All right. We have Eight of Cups. Um try to not focus on past relationships and things that have happened in the past because once again these are experiences your higher self chose to experience so it was all perfect it was perfect um and once you can realize that that's really the best way to transcend any difficult past any difficult relationships but you also need to clear this energy um, from these past relationships because these are blocking you um, you are expecting this spiritual connection that you have with this person to look like relationships you've had in the past. And you're even kind of um, comparing. So make sure you're not doing that um, because you will get more of that. That is what this person will show you. Um, we have the witch, the healer card. Um, so you have some, and each and every one of us has uh, spiritual gifts. Um, a lot of us have not woke up to what those are yet. You know, it's not a matter of learning them. You're waking up to them, um, as well as everything else that you know. There is no learning on a spiritual journey. There's only waking up and remembering. Um, and so several of you are have this healing quality. You know, you are healers, if not all of you. Um, and understand we can heal ourselves with our thoughts too. Just like, you know, when I fell, you know, it's like, oh shit, I broke it. You know, and I instantly, my spiritual guidance, my inner guidance was like, it's not broken. I mean, I posted probably four or five pictures on Facebook and everyone's like, it's broken. I'm like, listen to me, it's not broken. I know it's not broken. Um, and you know, with faith and good energy, you know, I'm, I'm healing myself. 
and you can do that, you know, just like this whole virus thing. Not one time have I ever worn a mask. Why? Because my inner guidance was, you know what, you are not going to catch any virus. And I believe that. And that is how we create our reality by what we believe. So make sure you are very careful about what you believe about your reality. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, and if you would like to have a personal reading to know, um, this is a general reading. If you want to know um, what is blocking you in different areas of your life or manifesting the reality that you want, um, those um, readings are $40. I take a variety of payments. I'll include my email address in the description of the video. And also be sure and stop by and like my new Facebook page. I'll share that link as well. Thank you for watching, Libra.